Welcome to Winning STL, where we have conversations about how St. Louis can best compete and win in the battle for talent, jobs, growth, and equity. Winning STL is sponsored by the Hartford Small Business Insurance, and we're at Box and Hounds, an iconic tavern within the Cheshire, a luxury boutique hotel with a British-inspired aesthetic located in Central Clayton. I'm Ian Queso, publisher of the St. Louis Post-Dispatch, and today I'm speaking with Marie-Hélène Bernard, president and CEO of the St. Louis Symphony Orchestra. Marie-Hélène, so wonderful to have you. Thanks for coming. Most viewers of this uh, today, I think, will know that there's a significant project going on at Powell Hall, but what would you, how would you uh, categorize it? So it's a renovation expansion of our concert hall, which is a historical landmark. It was built as a movie theater in 1925, beautiful architecture. And I would summarize it as renovation of a building that's approaching 100 years old in uh, 2025 that just needs to be refreshed. Uh, we're not going to alter or change any of the beauty, the architectural beauty of Powell Hall. We're preserving, it's a historical landmark, we're preserving its architecture. And its acoustics um, and the yeah, things that we're make it preserving what acoustics and also enhancing because there are some acoustical challenges sometimes on stage for the orchestra. Okay. Um, we're gonna replace the lighting in a concert hall and the house, mostly concert hall. The lighting is outdated okay. and not terribly uh, soothing. So this is an important aspect of the concert experience. We're gonna replace the seats. The seats right now are original to uh, 1967 when we opened the hall for the orchestra in 68. So we are taller, we are um, larger <laughs> than we were 55 years ago. That's true. Uh, and also we have, we live longer. So we have an audience that's a lot, a lot broader in scope. We, we introduce music to three-year-olds and we have, um, we have several patrons who are pushing 100 years old, right? So you need to create a space where people can have access. So when we talk about creating access uh, to music, that renovation is meant to enable a mother with several kids and pushing a stroller to come in easily, take an elevator up and bring kids and just sit in a, and sign with someone who might come with a walker or a wheelchair, or someone who just had a hip replacement surgery, or like to really serve community in a way that, it, whether it's people with disabilities or people who temporarily have to have special access, that we are gonna enable a softness and an access to the hall that we are not seeing right now. So replacing the scene, the, the scene adding railing and also adjusting some of the steepness of the hall. The hall is very steep to really lessen the, the risk of people falling and all that. Replacing carpet, drapes, repainting, you know, the refreshing. Mm -hmm. We're going to change all the HVAC systems. Right now all the mechanical systems are under the stage and th that humming creates a sound disruption that you might not process is happening but it's it's but there he's, he's, and also beefing up as we see the acoustical shell around the entire building uh, minimizing outside noise min minimizing uh, noise from the lobby to the main stage and so on and so forth and lastly the second piece which is very important is an expansion we are doubling the size of the concert hall so currently power hall is 65,000 square feet we're adding 65,000 square feet. So if you're facing the hall, imagine a wrap around the building that is in a form of a lobby expansion with additional concessions, restrooms. We're gonna add 64 um, restroom stalls, platforms for entertainment, for gatherings, for social connectivity, for events for music in unusual spaces. Uh, that lobby will connect to an education and learning center, 3,600 square feet, where our two choruses, the youth orchestra and all education programs will take place. And that education and learning center will connect to a backstage, which does not exist right now. So our musicians will have access to a music library backstage, a lounge, dressing rooms to change, and we're gonna have recording studios, so a media suite behind the, the stage where we can do our live broadcasts, which we present in partnership with St. Louis Public Radio and 107.3, where we can capture audiovisual material and also recordings. And then we're adding 11 practice rooms for our musicians, which our educators and youth orchestra and choruses can use. And lastly, very dedicated room to the keyboards. We have three Steinways that are not properly stored right now. Steinways are very, very expensive instruments that are delicate. So we're going to have a keyboard room for the three standaways. We're going to have a percussion room, a timpani room, a harp room, 
and all of those amenities that make the artistic life of the St. Louis Symphony a lot better supported. Well, the renderings I've seen are absolutely striking, yes, and yeah. I think it's going to leave a real impression on visitors yes. and, and just even people in that area, in that neighborhood, are, are going to absolutely. appreciate that, yes. and I think that's going to improve that, that area. Yeah. So we're truly creating a music center, and think of Power Hall and that new music center that will kind of envelope it to, as a connector between Arch to Park, North to South, and we're serving a much broader region. And the, the urban development that has really emerged in Grand Center in the last 20 years uh, has been remarkable. The soccer stadium is in our backyard. NGA is just really, uh, the VA, our neighbor, good neighbor, we have a great relationship with a veteran hospital across the street. They are developing their campus and really continuing to improve the kind of care we provide to our veterans. So if you think of community and how music connects and enriches people's lives, that building will truly bring life to the neighborhood, but will also create a connection among other development. The brick line will be just around the corner. Well, Maria Lynn, I want to thank you so thank much you. for thank coming you. in and sharing your thoughts. With Thanks for having us. Thank you so much. Thank you.